Hello YouTubers, here is a new video that I am creating showing some more DVDs and Blu-rays I've got. I've got nine in DVDs and seven Blu-rays. So let's start off with the um, DVDs. And the first one is, this is the, oh, sorry if I can get perched up. This is the remake of Robocop, which came out, um, I'll check what year it is. But this is a Studio Canal release. And it's from 2014. There's the back. Right, oops. There's the picture disc. Now, technically, as it was released by Columbia Pictures, it should have been on the Sony Pictures Home Entertainment label. But it's an okay film, but it's not as good as the original. And the next one is Steps, The End of the Road. Now, I had this DVD for a few years. This uh, is from That Fateful Night in 2001 when Clan H quit the band an hour or two before this actual concert. Now this is an Ebol and Jive release from 2002. And of course, just four days after this concert, they, the group originally split. Wait a minute, there's the picture disc. And the next disc actually continue is another Steps one. But this is the Gold Grace Hits DVD, which features... Some of the features the band's hit singles from 97 to 2001. This is a Zomba video re release from 2001. Here's the back cover. Right. Yeah, not a picture disc, but a plain looking one. Right, the next one is Click. Comedy film star and Adam Sandler. This is a really hilarious film. And this is a Sony Pictures Home Entertainment release. From 2006. There's the back. Now this film stars also David Hasselhoff, who of course was in Knight Rider and Baywatch. And also... Kate Beckinsale, the daughter of the late comedy actor Richard Beckinsale, who people in Britain would remember from the comedy show Rise in Damp in the 70s. There's the picture disc. Right, the next one is A Funny Kind of Love. I've actually got this because I'm, I'm a fan of comedy films and it's really funny looking. This is a Kaleidoscope Home Entertainment release from 2015. Right, there's the picture disc. Right, 
Right, next up is the On the Buses trilogy. The three comedy spin-offs of the films of the classic 1970s television series. Now, this is on the Opt Optimum and Studio Canal release. And it's from 2006. Now, this features all three movies in the series. On the Buses, Mutiny on the Buses, and Holiday on the Buses. And they are hilarious. Now, now there's one disc, there's another disc, but don't worry, it's not missing. It's in the DVD player, because I'm going to be watching that a bit later on. Mutiny on the Buses. And Holiday on the Buses is on the same disc. Funny thing is, on Holiday on the Buses, there is a brief part at the start of the film of a woman showing her boobs and then you have the character Olive played by Anna Karen showing her bum in the swimming pool that was hilarious <laughs> the next one is called is your highness one of these comedy fantasy films <laughs> known as the extended edition This is a E1 Entertainment release from 2011. There's the back. All right. Sorry. Here's the picture disc. Right. Right, the penultimate DVD is Observe and Report, a comedy film starring Seth Rogen. As you know, he was in, of course, the two Bad Neighbours films, and he is one of the voices of the recent comedy animated film Sausage Party. But I'll show that one on a late... On a, Data video. This is a Warner Home Video release from 2009. There's the back cover. Whoops. And there's the actual disc. And the last DVD is The Man, a comedy, this is another, a comedy film, which I got recently, starring Samuel L. Jackson and Eugene Levy. Now, oh, I haven't seen this yet, but I will watch it at some point. This is an entertainment and video release from about 2006. There's the back cover. Right. Now, unfortunately, you can see here, this is not a picture disc. Right. That's it. Now, on to the Blu-rays now. And the first is The Money Pit. This is a really hilarious movie starring Tom Hanks and Shelley Long. And, of course, um, Steven Spielberg was one of the executive producers of this film. Now, this is a Universal Pictures home entertainment release from 2016. And this is, this is a hilarious film. It's like one of those comedy films with, where, where things, when things can go wrong, do go wrong. Mm. 
right, and there's the disc. Right. And the next one is actually two films on one disc. Uh, this is The Rescuers and The Rescuers Down Under. Both on one Blu-ray disc. And this is of course a Walt Disney Pictures Home Entertainment. So this is a Disney Home Entertainment release from 2015. The back cover is shown the details of both films. Now this is coincidental because this year marks the 40th anniversary of the release of the original Rescuers film, which is on this disc. So possibly another Blu-ray release could be could ha be happening this year. There's the picture disc. Right, that's that one. The next one is Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. This is known as the Ultimate Edition, which sees two of the popular DC Comics characters going head to head. This, of course, a Warner Home Video release from about 2016. And the disc has two hours worth of extra features, as well as the film itself. And it's on two discs. It's a two disc. So I think one disc might have the film. I think the other one might have extra features. Yep, there we go. That's that one. Next is three th films on one disc. The original three Robocop films. Now, as I showed you on earlier in this clip, I've got the remake of the first film. But this is now... This is the original three films. The first one, of course, released in 1987, the second one 1990, and the third one 1992. Now this is an MGM Home Entertainment and a release that was distributed by 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment. As you can see, there's the back. Now, in these three films, two different actors played Robocop. Peter Weller played him in the first two films, and then an actor called Robert Burke took over the part in Robocop 3. Right. Now, there's the disc of the first film. But I do have the other two in the package there, which were put in there by either people in the, in the shop that I bought the discs. Right, next up, Zootropolis, one of the recent Disney animated films. And I've seen a funny clip on YouTube of a scene of the film where there are these wolves howling. And there's a funny YouTube clip of a German Shepherd dog howling along with the wolves. <laughs> now this is, again, a Disney Home Entertainment release. I think it's from 2016. This is from... There's the back. Right. 
And there's the actual disc. This is not a picture disc, unfortunately. It's just strange because the Rescuers and Rescuers Down Under disc I just showed you is a picture Blu-ray disc, but this isn't. So, right, the penultimate Blu-ray is One Chance. It's a, it's a comedy, it's a drama, comedy drama film about the opera singer Paul Potts, which of course stars James Corden, and also Julie Walters is in it, Cole Meany, who of course was in The Commitments, because there's a funny line he said in that film, where there's this band performing a song called Elvis Was a Cajun, and Colm's character went, that's effing blasphemy! Elvis wasn't a Cajun! And that cracked me up in that film. Now this, some of this film actually was filmed not far from when I lived, here in Patolbut. Some of the scenes of this film were filmed, including just around the corner. Now this is an entertainment and video release from 2014. And James Corden, who, of course, who's been in a number of comedy films and TV shows, is in this film. There's the disc, which is a picture disc. Now, if you notice, you can see it's still using the old print logo that was introduced in 1987. Although it doesn't, although the disc does not have, of course, the animation to do with it, it has the current entertainment in video animation, which is nick, someone nicknamed the Hourglass. Right. And the final Blu-ray is Steps, the Ultimate Tour. Yep, the um, spectacular pop quintet appear again. Now this was taken from their 2012 tour. Yeah, from the O2 Arena in London this came from. Yeah, this is a Universal Pictures home entertainment release. It features a band performing in a majority most of their, their hit singles, plus a couple of new songs. Now, hopefully, as they're going to be doing another tour later this year, that they'll probably do a DVD and Blu-ray of one of the concerts of that tour. And everybody's aware that their current single was written by Benny and Bjorn of ABBA, and that song called Story of a Heart which hopefully will do well, will do better than Scared of the Dark, which only reached 37, which is strange. Anyway, there's the picture disc. And that's it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also put a like on this clip. And if you want to be notified of any future videos I can do, you can then click on the bell so you can, on, on one of my videos so you'll be notified of new content. Well, thank you for watching this and bye for now.